Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating a salary calculator that I wrote in PowerShell script. This salary calculator will calculate your current and future salary and compare the difference. It will create a report based on different payroll periods and shows the following output salary, hourly wage, gross total, tax deduction, net pay, and salary increase in percentage. There are four variables that need to be populated. The first one is the salary. So whatever your current salary may be, in this case, we'll put it as 25,000 per year. Your new salary, we'll go ahead and add it as 32,500. Please note that you can also put a salary less than your current salary, which would be a demotion. Hope you are not getting demoted, but in case it works both ways, it calculates positive salary income and also negative. Your tax percentage, in this case, I am using 23% and pay period. There are four pay periods, which you plug in one through four. First one is a weekly pay period, which is your salary divided by 52 weeks per year. Biweekly, it would be half of that at 26 weeks. Monthly, your salary divided by 12 months. And semi monthly, which is 24 weeks. In order to execute this script, there are two ways. You can press F5 on your keyboard or you can press this run script button. And I will demonstrate both ways. So let's go ahead and get started. Run the script. And here is the output of this script. The first column will be your current salary information. Second column is your future. And the third column is the difference between your current and future. So let's go quickly over the data here. Your current salary of 25,000 per year equals to a hourly wage of $12.02. Your gross total before tax comes out to $480.77. Tax deduction based on the 23% is $110.58. And your net pay, what goes into your bank, would be $370.19. So let's say you get promoted and you get $32,500 per year. That means your hourly wage jumps to $15.63, which is a $3.61 cents per hour increase and a $7,500 increase per year. And here's your gross total, $625. So that's a difference of $144.23. Tax deductions, the more money you make, the more taxes you will be taken out. And your net pay now comes to 481 and 25 cents. And that's a increase per week of $111 and six cents. Down here below, it confirms that, yep, this payroll period is based on a weekly basis, 23%. And that's a 30% increase. We can play with some other numbers. So let's say, you make 80,957, just a random number. And let's say your company downsized and they still wanna keep you around, but they said, 
will have to demote you and pay you 72,458 dollars and your pay period will now change to a a bi-weekly instead of weekly so here is the report pretty useful if you ask me to quickly find out um, what your earnings will be based on your future circumstances so in this case now the negative numbers are outputted as uh, brackets kind of like standard accounting purposes so in this case you took a cut of eight thousand four ninety nine dollars and you're making less four dollars and nine cents and so on and down here you were demoted and now you're making ten and a half percent less let's say the company and the economy picks up so your new salary jumps to 187,200. Hit the play button and here's your data. 131% increase. That's what I'm talking about. But anyway, let's go over the, the script itself. I have one through four as your payroll periods. What happens if a user enters, say, six? You have to code and script your PowerShell scripts or any other languages and catch these kind of inputs because sometimes user mistypes something. Let's say I put a number six, which is not coded one through four. Watch what happens. I have a catch function that says, well, if it's not one through four, spit this error out. So it worked as designed. Let me go to payroll of three, which is monthly. Down here, here is the payroll period calculation. And I'm doing some basic math here. So if, if you select number one, it will take your salary and calculate by 52. And then it spits out a payroll period uh, string as weekly. And then it also calculates your new salary all within if number one is entered for the payroll period up here. Same thing goes for number two, 26 weeks. Number three is 12 months. And semi-monthly number four calculates on based on 24 pay periods. And else, so if one through four, nothing else was pressed. So say if you enter a five, this will throw the error and it will break the function and code. Hence, we saw that earlier. Here are some logical operation on how I came out to these different numbers. So there are 2,080 hours per year that's how i calculated the hourly wage of course there are different ways of calculating all this data but this is what i used in my case the net pay i had to do some math conversions because it was spitting out the output one cent off so i had to do some math um, conversions to capture the exact output and you can cross-reference these numbers yourself to make sure they are correct as you see down up here i am entering just plain integers in order for it to be nicely formatted i am doing formatting down here so to format this uh, integer into a currency i use this function and you can see how i 
formatted all of that. So the zero colon C is for currency. I also have a percentage, which is outlined down here, zero colon P1. And then um, I also had to make sure that the padding is nicely aligned because you know, reports, they're usually always formatted nicely for easy reading. So this section down here is formatting, which you can kind of see and make sense. Salary, I'm writing out the host, adding these dots, and then I am spacing the current, future, and difference 20 characters apart um, and then here's the overview section i am passing the variables from top what was entered what's also nice about the script it puts out all this data onto your clipboard so if i open up a plain text notepad do a control v you can see that it puts this stuff onto your clipboard so you can save it or share it with others. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will be putting out more PowerShell scripts and other Windows tips and tricks. Have a great day. Take care.